Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Rare Candy, and today we are back with another entry into our testing round series, continuing our look at some more Rebel Clash decks. So uh, for this entry, this is actually kind of a, a fun experiment we tried out, uh, you know, with everything going on in the world right now, getting together in real life to play some games. Uh, it's a little bit challenging right now, so I've actually enlisted the help from uh, actually one of our patrons and a fellow PokeTuber, Gyroshan, you can check out his channel as well. But yeah, he was nice enough to help me record this virtual matchup that we have here. And he's actually going to be on the left. He's going to be playing the new Toxtricity VMAX. And then you have myself. I'm going to be over on the right playing the new Dragapult VMAX deck. So showdown of some of the most hyped decks, I think, uh, to come out of this new set that we have here. So we'll have to see how this is going to go. You know, the Toxtricity has the big one-shotting potential, whereas Dragapult's going to be focused more on two-shotting. So we'll have to see which strategy is going to you know, ultimately pull out ahead here. And let's see. Did not get a good look at what I started with. Um, so let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, so I am going to start with a Dragapult. That's fine. Uh, looks like Sean's going to start himself with a Toxtricity. And then from there, it looks like I might just pass. So just getting down that new Horror Psychic Energy. That's going to be that new Special Energy that, uh, you know, whenever you get attacked into it, then your opponent takes two damage counters in the process. You know, similarly, Sean's over there, he's playing his own special energy. It's gonna be the new speed lightning energy whenever you attach it uh, to a lightning Pokemon, you get to draw two cards. So here he is getting down, it looks like a Trubbish. So Trubbish is gonna be very important. The entire Toxtricity deck is gonna be based around trying to poison your opponent with Garbodor and then using that to be able to uh, do massive amounts of damage with Tox. Toxtra CV Max. So let's see. Uh, Sean's going to get himself down an air balloon that is going to give that Toxtra C a two less retreat. And we might just see a Marty from him um, at that point, I would assume. Uh, we might see him bench the Coco Prism. I think that's also valid if he does want to do that. And looks like he's debating if he wants to go for a Dedenne GX instead. Now, it's kind of hard to gauge because I went first, so Sean's probably not sure like if I have a good hand or not. Uh, but I think Marnie's probably fine. It really just depends on what he's digging for in particular. If he's trying to go for Bolton V, I like the Dedenne because that's going to allow him to see a lot of cards. And we do see... So he can get Bolton V, but I don't think he actually has a way to accelerate any energy to the Bolton. As right now, there's no energy in his discard pile, so... You know, from here, we might see him bench the other Toxtricity, maybe even the other Trubbish. Uh, you know, one of those, I would imagine. And then from there, probably just end his turn with attacking with Toxtricity B. So it looks like he's a bit conflicted. Here, he's going to pitch away Trubbish. Now, the one thing that could come back to bite him here is if I go like Dragapult VMAX, Galarian Zigzagoon on the Trubbish, and then pick it off from the bench. Um, that is going to be... Uh, you know, potentially a uh, play you might have to watch out for. And so here he is going to go for the Bolton. Maybe I did miss it. Maybe he did discard an energy early on and I didn't notice. You know, it kind of looks like there is a lightning energy peeking out of the discard. So maybe he actually uh, did get that going. So here he is going to bench that Bolton. Going to burn that Tap Coco Prism Star. That's going to allow him to get that lightning energy that was in there. Again, I guess I did miss that. My mistake, guys. Uh, and then from there, he's going to be able to uh, retreat into that Bolton and accelerate some energy as well. So here he is going to... Looks like he's a bit conflicted, but yeah, he is going to retreat into this Bolton. Bolton's a new Pokemon V we're going to be getting in Rubble Clash. First attack in particular is pretty good in this deck here. So for a Lightning, you get to accelerate two Lightning Energies out of your deck to uh, your bench Pokemon in any way that you like. So it's going to help him get that Toxtricity be powered up uh, and you know, start threatening some pressure on the next turn. So here it looks like I have a switch. I'm just going to switch into this Jirachi. Use that Stellar Wish ability. So maybe I don't have a supporter. Yeah, see I have a boss's orders, but I don't see a draw support. So that must be what I'm looking for. Or maybe it's a Marnie in my hand. I think I do have a supporter in there. And here I am going to go for a Marnie. So here I'm going to evolve into Dragapult, VMAX. Uh, get down this escape board. That's pretty good. And it looks like just... It looks like I'm contemplating the Marnie. I'm going to do that. That's fine. 
So one thing I could have done, I could have actually used boss's orders to bring up the Trubbish and knock it out since I did evolve into Dragapult VMAX. Its first attack does do 60 damage. I think that is a consideration as well. But with this deck, it's just very important to never miss your manual attachment. So I think that's ultimately why I went for the Marnie. So here, I'm going to find myself another one of those Horror Psychic Energies. So this means if I get attacked, then uh, whatever Sean attacks with, it's going to take four damage counters in the process. So I'm just going to retreat into another Jirachi. And it looks like I'm going to grab myself a Professor's Research. So if I retreat into Jirachi, it tells me I must have some sort of uh, alternate retreating method uh, in my hand already. So no doubt I was probably going to be looking for a quick ball to find myself a Galarian Zigzagoon. I definitely want to pick off this Trubbish as soon as possible. So there, I did play that scoop up net to get that Jirachi back. This is a list that's pretty heavily inspired by uh, Takuya Yoneda's Dragapult list that he did pretty well at an event recently in Japan with, uh, of course, with some tweaks of my own. But by and large, if you guys are familiar with that build of the deck, that's kind of generally what this talk, uh, what this Dragapult deck will look like. So here it looks like Sean's going to get himself a Dust Island in play, and he's going to evolve into Toxicity and Garbodor. So that was actually a really good Marnie for Sean here. So what he's going to be able to do now is he has kind of the whole Wombo combo. The Toxtricity, it does 160 plus 80 more if your opponent is poisoned. And the Garboder inflicts poison if you have a Stadium card in play. So he has basically everything he needs. He would need three E powers to take a knockout on this uh, Dragapult. That is kind of the issue though. So here it looks like Sean's going to get himself down an Air Balloon on that Garboder. Um, so... We might actually see him attack with Bolton this turn, which I, I would not mind seeing. But here he's actually going to go for the Toxtricity. I'm actually not a big fan of this. I think I would rather see the uh, Bolton play here. Uh, because going in with Bolton theoretically does force me into like an 8 prize game potentially. Uh, and also, like I feel like if you're atta attacking with Toxtricity, you want to be taking a knockout in the process. Uh, and the Bolton could have done a decent job of getting some chip damage in. Now, I will say the upside to the way that Sean's going about this, though, is that if he does get himself another Toxtricity out of his deck with this communication, that will enable him to get another manual attachment down on Toxtricity and start powering up his second one. So that is kind of the upside, but I still kind of wish I would have seen the, uh, uh, the Bolton come into play there. Because now he's kind of allowing me to spread my damage counters um, a, a little bit more efficiently. Uh, so if you guys aren't familiar with Dragapult, VMAX, its attack, or its main attack, I should say, for two Psychic Energies is 130. And you spread five damage counters on your opponent's bench in any way that you like. So the Bolton here, it does have, uh, I believe, 130 on it already. So uh, being on the bench like that, it does allow me to uh, tweak my damage output and be very efficient with where I put my damage counters. So here it looks like, just reminding Sean of the damage from the Horror Psychic Energy here. So here I have a Giant Bomb. Looks like I'm going to get that down on the Dragapult. So of course Giant Bomb, it's a tool card. If the Pokemon it's attached to uh, takes 180 or more damage, then the attacking Pokemon takes 10 damage counters of their own. So I'm going to go for a switch then just use Professor's Research. So I think the big things this turn I want to find are going to be a Dragapult V and another Psychic Energy to start working on my next attacker. Now I do see the Quick Ball and the Psychic Energy. So I'm definitely going to be able to do that. Like I said, that's going to be the big thing really going to be looking for here. And it looks like I'm kind of debating what I want to grab with this Quick Ball. So that must mean I have multiple different uh, quick balls are searching cards in hand. Yeah, I see I do have another one in there. So um, Looks like I'm gonna go for the Dragapult however Which is good. I think I absolutely had to get a Dragapult down uh, This turn and I have the psychic energy in hand to go with it So that's definitely the first like order of business anything else anything else I want to do from there is just kind of extra So here I'm gonna get down, you know a horror psychic energy on it And let's see, it looks like I'm debating what I want to get rid of here with this Quick Ball. So here it looks like I'm going to go for a Stellar Wish first, just to kind of give myself some options in terms of what I want to discard. And also this might influence what I get off of Quick Ball. So it looks like I'm going to go for a Scoop Up Net. So 
If that's the case, going for Zigzagoon actually could be really good here because the Boltund has 130 damage on it already and has 200 total HP. So it looks like I am going to quick ball away that mysterious treasure. And again, I'm imagining the Zigzagoon. Yeah, so there it is, guys. So Zigzagoon, of course, has that coming into play ability. Whenever you bench it, you get to put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So I can do here, get down that Zigzagoon, and then use that new Scoop Up Net card. It allows you to pick up one of your non-Pokemon V or GX, put it back into your hand, and then I can get down an additional counter on the Bolton and take a knockout with Dragapult here. And so I'm going to take two prizes in the process. Now, nevertheless, I still have to knock out two Toxtricities, but I think a more likely path to victory I'm going to have is going to be knocking out this one Toxtricity V Max and then probably Garbodor on the bench. I think that's kind of a safe bet. So let's see what Sean can get here. No doubt he's going to want to give himself down another attachment on this uh, Toxtricity on the bench here. You know, we might also want to see another Toxtricity V Max for him, uh, potentially, but let's see. Right now, I can't get a good look at how much damage is on my uh, Dragapult, so I'm not exactly sure how much he needs to do here. So here we are going to see two Electro Powers come down, and a Quick Ball, it looks like, as well. Looks like he might be eyeing himself down an additional Toxtricity. I'm not sure if he needs the second or the, the third one technically at this point. Depending on what his hand is, I might even like to see a Dedenne uh, or something like that. I think that could be an option. So yeah, it looks like he is going to go for the Dedenne here. Just because like I said, I'm not sure if he really needs the additional uh, Toxtricity at this point. So it looks like he is going to gear up to start attacking with another Toxtricity. And it looks like he's actually going to retreat into this fresh one. So it looks like with Poison Jab, the first attack on Toxtricity V, it does 20 in Poison. Uh, but plus the E power, so it looks like he's going to be able to get a knockout again, guys. I can't quite make out the damage that is on my Dragapult VMAX, but uh, I assume that Sean uh, knows what he's doing here. So he has plenty of good cards in his hand, but nothing else he really wants to play. He has that Thunder Mountain, but no need to play it down. May as well save it for next turn. So here, Sean is going to take three prizes, pulling ahead in the match now. So I have to think how I want to go about this. So it looks like I am going to promote this Jirachi. I see a switch in my hand. That's probably why I'm thinking about going that route, because if I'm going to research anyways, it'd probably be better to burn the switch first. But here it looks like I'm kind of changing my mind, so I must have something kind of uh, planned that I want to uh, I want to go for here if I'm not promoting the other Jirachi. So I do find myself another Dragapult VMAX, that's definitely good. But here I'm going to go for a Stellar Wish, let's see what I can find. I'm going to go for a Mari, that must have been what I was looking for. So I'm going to get down another Psychic Energy. Then just going to shuffle up after that Stellar Wish. So I'm not sure how many cards that are in uh, Sean's hand here, but uh, probably going for the Marnie. So, yeah, that is what I'm going to do. Even though I had the research, again, I, I think I just wanted to disrupt uh, Sean's hand here. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see <laughs> sometimes uh, over on his side, but I'm pretty sure he did have a pretty large hand size. Definitely wanted to kind of limit that a little bit. So it looks like I do find myself another giant bomb. That's definitely a really good card to draw into here. Going to use that uh, Premier Wisdom ability on a Ranger as well just to get the top card of my deck, replace it with the card in my hand. Just trying to think if there's anything in particular I really want to see here. Um, I just can't think of anything. I think just attacking into this Toxic is about all I really want. I have the Giant Bomb to go with it as well, so uh, that's going to be fine. Now, one thing we did not remember, I think, is that the other Dragapult had the two Horror Psychic Energy attached to it. So this Toxicity actually should be at 170 right now. I'm not sure if we caught that or not, but 
that is definitely something we should address here for sure. That actually does make a big difference because um, at that point, it sets up to where Dragapult's um, you know, secondary effect, being able to spread damage counters on the bench, actually could be relevant. Okay, here it looks like... I guess it looks like Sean did adjust the damage. It's hard for me to say. It kind of looks like it's still at 130. But it definitely should be at 170 for sure. So now Sean's actually in a little bit of a pickle here because he actually is unable to attack with this Toxtricity V Max. You know, he had that Marnie, and I'm sure he wanted to evolve before he used Marnie, probably hoping he would draw into an energy, but no energy in sight here. And this this is actually, I think, a pretty big whiff for him. I think if he hadn't evolved, that also would have been kind of okay as well. Uh, just because Poison Jab would have been able to, you know, still soften up this... Uh, this Dragapult a little bit. Now, the one good thing here, I want Sean is going to go for a Quick Ball, getting rid of a Dust Eye when it appears, just grabbing a Toxtricity out of deck. Now, the one good thing here, though, is he can still use Garbodor's ability uh, to poison Dragapult. And that's actually pretty big because the big downside to Toxtricity's math is that it actually requires three E powers to knock out a V Max. It's literally just like 10 damage short of knocking out this Dragapult. So the poison damage is actually going to be relevant either way here. So I uh, definitely want to see Sean at least poison the active uh, if he does nothing else for this turn. And also, again, this active Toxtricity should be at 170, but it's just, uh, again, it's kind of hard to make out the damage there, but I'm going to do my best <laughs> uh, I can to make sure that our damage is accurate. But here it looks like he is just going to go for the poison uh, and end his turn here. So that is also going to get around that giant bomb. So here I'm going to draw for turn. Looks like I top deck an energy spinner. So I might consider setting up another Dragapult uh, at this point. Just to be able to potentially retreat this, uh, th this active Dragapult if it does get badly damaged. So it looks like I'm debating what I want to get rid of here. It looks like I'm either going to Quick Ball or Mysterious Treasure. I can't quite tell which card I was playing there. Okay, so I am going to go for a, another Dragapult beat, like I said. Probably just trying to set up this next one and going to play that Energy Spinner as well just to start powering that thing up. Did not get a good look at my hand beyond that, though, so I'm really not sure what I have to work with at this point. Looks like I'm just taking a peek, double checking some of the resources I've used up until this point. Maybe I'm considering a professor's research if that's the case. And here I'm gonna go for the Primate Wisdom on a Ranger and just gonna go for a Marnie, it appears. So I must be digging for something in particular here. I'm not sure what off the top of my head, I kind of forget, uh, you know, what I was kind of thinking about at the time here. But from there, looks like we're just going to see, uh, you know, another attack on this Toxtricity here. It looks like I'm just going all in on my damage to uh, both of these things. So I think the reason for that is because I think I could have probably just put the damage on Garbodor since knocking out 1v Max and Garbodor would get me the win. But I think maybe in anticipation of him retreating, I might have needed the extra damage counters on that that uh, bench toxicity. But let's see what Sean's going to do to respond here. Now, he actually can win if he gets himself two E powers. That is going to be enough for him to actually win the game. And he does have that professor's research in his hands. So here's going to go for a stadium nav. Okay, so that is going to allow him to at least thin some more cards out of deck. So he has one E power, we see. 
Ooh, and it looks like his other Electric Power is prized here. That's actually pretty bad, um, because this deck is thin enough. I think he actually has pretty decent odds of hitting both of them, had they both been in there. So, that is definitely a little bit rough. So here we're going to see a Quick Ball as well, just thinning another card out of deck, I suppose. So here he's going to go for Eldegoss Feast, so maybe he's thinking about going for like a Boss's Orders or something like that. Now what I'd kind of like to see is actually if he can find a way to attack with the Dene, that would have been... I think that would have been nice because that could have, you know, bought him the time he needed by paralyzing me. But I don't think he has access to something like a Dene since he already did attach to the active. So here, here it looks like he is going to play Eldegoss V, of course, that new support Pokemon from Rebel Clash. Whenever you bet you, you get a supporter from your discard pile, put it in your hand. Oh, and it looks like he is going to take it back, so maybe what he ha maybe what he thought he had in the discard actually wasn't there. Uh, that's fine. You know, guys, we're just playing for fun, so we don't mind each other taking back minor plays as long as it doesn't... Uh, you know, as long as it doesn't really disturb the state of the game or anything like that. So here it looks like he is going to have to retreat. And I'm sure Sean's just kind of thinking like, man, like what do I do at this point? So here he is going to bump that Dust Island with his Thunder Mountain and then just go for the Professor's Research. Okay, so nothing there is too particularly impactful, but this is just kind of a rough scenario for him because he's gonna have to like hard retreat this. Uh, this actually isn't a, a bad play if he does go this route. So what he can do, he can actually retreat into the Toxtricity and attack for free to soften up this this Dragapult. So it looks like that's the route he's going to go, but I'm not sure if the damage actually like works out to set up for the VMAX to finish it off next turn, because he's at, Dragapult's at 20 right now, he's going to take 20 more, be at 40, so 50 after the poison. Um, now, if I don't retreat the Dragapult, I think it actually is set up to be able to, oh, uh, but here I, I do have the boss's orders, and that will allow me to take a double KO on the Toxtricis, it appears. So that is going to be game one, or maybe I took a knockout on Garboder. Again, it was kind of hard to make out the damage there, guys, but I, I'm pretty sure that enabled me to get a, a double KO. So that's going to be game one, like I said, but of course, we're playing the best two out of three here. Sean definitely has some time to bring it back. As you can see, I think this matchup is actually like fairly close. You know, one deck is two shotting, the other deck is one shotting. And, uh, you know, however, even though Dragapult's two shotting, you're actually very efficient with your damage. So that's kind of the upside to it. But getting ready for game two. We'll have to see how this is going to go. Also, just want to give a big shout out to Sean, too. He's been a big supporter of the channel. He's rocking that sweet looking Candy Crew playmat that our, our patrons have access to purchase. So, if you guys want to get a cool playmat like that or get access to the other perks we have on our Patreon, I'll of course have a link down below in the description if you guys want to learn more about that. But it looks like Sean is going to opt to go first since he did lose game one. Now, the big thing. There's a bummer about his hand, he does not have an energy, but he does have a quick ball, so he will be able to actually go for a Dedenne GX, dump this hand. Uh, he will have to dump both boss's orders, which is definitely not great, but he but he does have Eldegoss V in deck to be able to get at least one of those. Now, the good thing about my deck is I really don't have any alternate attackers other than Dragapult. So more likely he doesn't have to actually use boss's orders very often anyways, because usually the Pokemon he wants to attack is just going to be in the active anyways. Ooh, and that is... Oh no, he did get energy. I thought he, he whiffed, but he did get the speed lightning, so of course he's going to be able to draw two cards. But you know from there, I mean, honestly, Sean has a really solid first turn. He's got two Toxtracies and a Trubbish in play without drawing, or without even having to play a supporter. So that's definitely a win, I think. 
So you're gonna get down one of those horror psychic energies. I do have a Marty in hand, so it looks like that is going to be what I do. So gonna put Sean down at a four card hand, whereas I'm gonna get five. So it looks like I have a Marsh Shadow in hand. It looks like I have a Quick Ball. So let's see what I'm going to opt to do here. And it looks like I'm thinking about getting rid of the Mind Report Mewtwo. Uh, looks like I'm going to get rid of the Dragapult VMAX. I think the reason for that is I don't actually have a supporter for next turn. So I'm probably going to use Mewtwo to uh, get that Marnie back. But here I'm actually going to grab, I think, one of my spiciest additions to this list. It's going to be the Giratina from Unified Minds. This is definitely not a card that has seen much play up until now. But uh, I think it's a card that actually gets a bit better in this new format, especially with Scoop Up Net. But whenever you bench it from your hand, you get to discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So very good with Speed Lightning Energy and Horror Psychic Energy, Twin Energy, even Capture Energy all coming into the format. And of course, we have Aurora Energy on top of that as well. And with Scoop Up Net, you can actually abuse this ability throughout the course of a game. So it's actually more of an inclusion for the Mirror Match, but it's also pretty good against the Toxtricity deck. So here, a pretty decent turn. I got my attachment. I was able to actually... Um, get a bit of a defensive play in against this toxicity so i'm gonna be able to just hit this thing for 30 start softening it up with this first attack on dragapult v and so here it looks like looks like sean does have himself another speed lightning energy and he is going to attach that to the active one And here looks like he's just taking a peek through his discard pile. We'll see what he's going to do from here. Going to get that Dust Island down in play. We might even see a research. So I think what he's going to be opting for here is maybe to try to find Bolton V and uh, Coco Prism. And I think he actually drew into the the means of making that happen. So here he's going to, he's going to get Garboder down. So if he actually does decide to do this, I do like this play. Like normally, I actually like getting the... 20 chip damage in with Toxtricity, but since he got the Garbodor in the stadium, he can actually still get that 10 chip damage in he desperately needs while still accelerating energy with Bolton D, which I think is, uh, you know, really important as well. So this is definitely a good follow-up turn that Sean's having, even despite, you know, getting his energy removed there. So here he is going to grab that Tepe Coco Prism Star, and of course, more importantly, that Bolton V. Like I said, has that, I believe it's Electrify is the name of the attack, the first one. Uh, it's going to allow him to accelerate some energy out of his deck. So here he is going to retreat, but he, he needs to not retreat first. <laughs> he needs to leave the Bolton on the bench. Yeah, so here you can see he's correcting course. Going to get that energy uh, attached to the Bolton while it's still on the bench, then retreat into it. So from there, I'd imagine we're just going to see him attack. I don't really think there's much else he really needs. And yep, so it looks like he is going to end his turn just with the attack on Bolton V here. All right, so I do have this Marsh Shadow in hand. This is something I do need to be mindful of. Um... I can use this Marshadow to get rid of this Dust Island, but like it almost feels kind of bad to burn Marshadow on Dust Island and not Thunder Mountain. So I'm really not sure if I'm gonna go that route just yet or not. So here, yeah, looks like I'm just gonna go for the Marnie. Opting to save the Marshadow. We'll have to see if that comes back to bite me. But you know, I, this is only his first stadium he's played. Sean still has a couple of others left in deck, so I didn't want to burn it immediately on the Marsh Shadow, but here I'm going to get down a Skateboard, it looks like. So I must not have hit what I needed this turn, if that is the case. So I am going to go for a Stellar Wish. That is at least going to clear me of the Poison, though the 10 damage has already gotten in. That's the big thing Sean really needed to see. So um, here I'm going to find myself Professor's Research off the Stellar Wish. Now, did I get myself an Energy? That's the next big thing I really want to get down. Again, with this Dragapult deck, there's no Malamar, nothing like that. The Cheat Energy is into play, so it's so important to be able to uh okay it looks like i do have the horror psychic energy there so i at least did not miss an attachment so i must have missed the dragapult v max if that is the case 
So I could actually attack. I think I had a scoop up net in hand, but this Dragapult V is very fragile. Toxtricity V Max can easily knock it out. But here looks like I just passed over the Sean. So he's going to get down another air balloon on this Bolton. Now, of course, it's going to get free retreat. And it looks like Sean's a little bit conflicted, like what route he wants to go here. Ooh, now if he wants to, he could actually go for Eldegoss V and get Boss's Order out of the discard pile and knock out his Dragapult. So here he is going to go for the Quick Ball. And he does have the Eldegoss in deck. So that's actually kind of what I want to see here because he can... Wait, would it be enough? Because the Toxtricity does 180 if they're poisoned. So when uh, he'd be 10 damage short, so. But yeah, so that, that would have almost been a solid play. Well, actually, no, I think he would have been. Yeah, because Dragon Point only has 210 HP. It's at 200 right now. Oh, uh, no, it still would have been 10 short, so. Uh, yeah, I think Sean did the right thing then. <laughs> if he didn't have the Electro Power in hand. Uh, but nevertheless, he is going to be able to get down the energy on this Bolton and actually take a knockout. And this is actually a pretty good KO to get just because this kind of takes away my option, I think, of getting down a Dedenne GX safely at any point. Because if I ever do that, it basically just allows Sean to be able to knock out one VMAX and then a Dedenne to win the game. So knocking out the one prize Jirachi is actually pretty significant here. So here it looks like I did top deck a Mysterious Treasure. So no doubt I'm going to be looking for a Dragapult. And it looks like I'm getting rid of a Psychic energy. Interesting. Oh yeah, I think I remember. I was a bit conflicted here. I was like, well, I can get down Dragapult VMAX. Or I can get down a Dragapult with a Psychic Energy like immediately. And it's like, I really don't want to whiff energy attachments, but I need my attacker. So I, I do remember kind of taking a peek through my deck thinking, you know, what do I have the best odds of hitting off a supporter? I'm pretty sure I ultimately do decide on the Dragapult VMAX though, if I do remember correctly. So if you guys did notice, I did promote this Giratina initially, and the reason for that is because I have a scoop up net in hand, and I didn't know I was going to top deck the Mysterious Treasure, so I was thinking, well, if I have to, I might have to scoop up net to be able to activate the base Dragapult V's attack, uh, which requires you to be on the bench first, then become your active. So here, I am going to actually bench the Giratina, even though I'm not getting an effect from it. I want to be able to have it as a potential scoop up net uh, option later in the game if Sean does get himself some more um, some more speed lightnings in play. So here it looks like I did find myself a, another Dragapult. That is definitely good. Now the other thing I need is going to be an energy. That's like the big thing I just have to have this turn I think. Uh, I do have a Ranger in hand so I can potentially uh, it looks like I'm debating the Ranger, but if I can potentially hit an energy off of Primate Wisdom. That'd be really good. So here I am going to go for a Quick Ball, getting rid of a Jirachi, it appears. So probably just trying to thin before I use this Oranguru. Uh, also might just grab myself the Dene preemptively. Because if I do with the... Okay, but here I'm going to go for another Dragapult, so my... My thinking here is I think I'm going to quick ball this Dragapult away just to thin a little bit more. So here I am going to use a Ranguru. And it looks like I did whiff the energy. So I think I was trying to hold out and like prevent myself from having to use a Ranguru or uh, to use the Dene. So unfortunately, that's what it's come to. And this is kind of what I was talking about earlier. Like, now I run the risk of this Dedenne being able to just get picked off in the late game for Sean to win. So here I am going to burn that Marshall, getting rid of that stadium before I dump my hand. 
Again, unfortunately, having to burn that Marsh Shadow before, um, you know, Thunder Mountain came down and play. But I did find my energy. That's the big thing. You know, if I can successfully keep Sean kind of at a low hand size after he knocks out this first Dragapult, I might be able to get away and, uh, you know, win the game before he's able to find his gusting methods to bring up this the Dene. You know, with both of his boss's ores in the discard pile, I actually do have, you know, somewhat okay odds of making that happen. And now, the other thing I don't like about this is I actually have an escape board on this Dragapult and not, uh, and, and that basically takes up my tool slot and enables it so I can't actually put Giant Bomb on it. And that's a big thing I really would have liked this turn, I think, to be able to get down Giant Bomb and say, hey, if you're going to knock me out, you're at least going to take a ton of damage in the process. Oh, and I do actually have the Giant Bomb, too. That's actually even more annoying. <laughs> so here, we're just going to do 130 to the Bolton, get down some damage preemptively on the Toxicity. And it looks like Sean had another Stadium ready to go. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to bump any more of his Stadiums. The Marshall is the only thing I have in this current list. Uh, to remove stadium cards. So he's going to need two Electro Powers, and that is going to get him the knockout. So it looks like we're just going to see a retreat. So if he's just retreating right out the gate, that makes me think he does have the E-Powers just sitting in hand. And I do see at least one there. Yeah, he has both of them, and he had the replacement stadium, so that was honestly, you know, an easy response from him. He didn't even have to burn any additional resources to make that happen. Looks like he's going to go for a Pokemon communication. And I do remember this. this is actually, uh, I think, a pretty cool play uh, Sean's doing here. He's putting the Eldegoss back in deck in anticipation of this Marnie. He doesn't want Eldegoss on the bottom of his deck. He wants to be able to draw back into it um, to get that boss's orders to win on the next turn to pick off that Dedenne, so... Definitely a cool uh, play on his part there. Gonna get down, looks like another energy on this next Toxtricity. So Sean's in a really good spot, I think, to win this game. I don't even think I'm necessarily even playing this match like that poorly or anything. It's just, uh, you know, I, you just can't miss an energy attachment. So I had to Dedenne. Uh, you know, I had to retreat early on too with that escape board. So I wasn't able to get down the giant bomb. So here I do have a giant bomb. Luckily, I can get down on this Toxtricity. And I think, I, or not Toxtricity, Drag Bolt. <laughs> My mistake, guys. So here I think I'm just thinking, do I want the giant bomb or do I want to put it on the Dene in anticipation of the Dene um, like getting gusted up? But... I mean, if the Dene gets brought up, I lose no matter what. Like, the 10 damage counters don't really make a difference. And, like, he doesn't even have to do 180 to knock out the Dedene. So, yeah. Putting on Dragapult is correct. I definitely need another Psychic Energy. That's the big thing I need from this turn. And ideally, a way to disrupt Sean's hand as well. He just drew three prizes. So, I definitely want to keep him at a low hand size, if at all possible. So, here, I am going to get down Zigzagoon, it appears. I think that's fine. I really don't know what else I would want to save the bench spot for at this point. Like, I don't think I'm going to need Jirachis anymore. Or even, like, another uh, Dragapult. So here I'm just going to go for a Marnie. So I am going to put uh, Sean at a lower hand size. So do my best here to ensure that he's unable to uh, gust up this Dedenne and win. So the big thing, though, is I do need Psychic Energy. I don't know if I have it. Uh, I think I do still have access to my Rengar, so that is one way I can dig one card deeper as well if I choose to. And so it looks like I am going to use that Rengar, it looks like. Or I'm debating, it looks like. <laughs> I seem a little bit conflicted, but here I am going to go for it. And I do get the second uh, Horror Psychic Energy, so that's actually a really good... Uh, you know, card to draw off of that Rengar. It's pretty much perfect, actually. So, if this Dragapult takes a significant amount of damage, the attacking Pokemon is going to take 14 damage counters in total if they hit 180. 
Uh, you know, at the very least, they're, they're going to take four no matter what from the energies. And if they do hit 180 or higher, the other giant bomb will pick up the slack from there. But uh, yeah, I'm not feeling too great about my chances right now, guys. Oh, I think we see the quick ball. Yeah, so Sean's going to be able to go for that Elder Gospel. You can see he's digging aggressively through his deck for it. So, of course, that is going to allow him to get a boss's orders out of discard pile. And he, from there, he can just bring up that Dedenne GX and uh, take his last two prizes. And uh, Sean is going to take a game two here. So, yeah, tied up at one to one. You can see both decks pretty much kind of acting as they, they should, I think. You know, I think I had some a couple of rough turns um, where I was forced to bench the, the Dedenne, forced to, to get down an escape board on the Dragapult. Um, you know, just a couple things didn't quite go my way and kind of, uh, you know, prevented me from doing plays that I would have rather have done. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, the Dragapult deck still relatively set up pretty decently that game. Uh, we are going to get right into a game three here. And no doubt, I'm assuming I'm going to go first here since I did lose. And I start with that Jirachi, pretty much the best starter in the deck I could ask for. Really just want an energy and a Dragapult. And I see both. I have the Dragapult V and the Horror Psychic Energy in hand already. And I'm just going to go for a Stellar Wish off of this Jirachi. Not sure what I have access to in the Star Wish. Didn't really get a good look at it. I think I see a Team Yelgrunt or a Marnie. I can't tell. Some sort of full art supporter, though. So it looks like I am going to grab the Team Yelgrunt. That looks like what I'm going to get here. Or, no, I'm going to change it to the Scoop Up Net. <laughs> that seems good. So... I think I remember this. I didn't have a switching method in hand. So by grabbing the scoop up net next turn, I can still get the Shirachi out of play if need be. So from there, I really don't think I need too much else. I have the Galerian Zigzagoon, but I actually want to see myself save it if possible. Because ideally, I kind of want to save it in case Sean gets down a second Trubbish. I'd rather the damage counter go on that. And here you can see I'm kind of conflicted. I was thinking, you know what? I could get down the Zigzagoon, then you Scoop Up Net to bring it back into my hand. But again, I'm just going to opt to kind of save uh, my hand for the moment. So here, looks like Sean's going to get himself down another Trubbish. Going to play two Electro Powers and just did NAGX here. Oh, and this is actually I, interesting. Uh, I, I didn't catch this until just now, guys. Uh, Sean actually discarded his Dedenne GX. It's something we actually didn't notice at the time. Uh, and that does wind up being um, relevant for this game. You know, you I, I know you get in the habit of treating it like a professor's research, but Dedenne is supposed to go to your bench. And yeah, I do remember what happened here. <laughs> um, I'm going to apologize in advance for this, guys. But here, it looks like Sean's going to go for a boss's orders. He doesn't have another supporter. So he is going to just bring up that Dragapult and probably just pass from there. And so, yeah, I'll just I'll just wait and let you guys see what happens. So I'm going to get down the Galarian Zigzagoon on the Bench Trubbish here. And so now all I need is a Dragapult VMAX. And an energy, and I can knock out both Trubbish at the same time here. So here I'm going to get rid of, looks like, a Giant Bomb. It's pretty good. There's no chance that, uh, even if I whiff this turn, that I'll get hit for 180 next turn. So I'm going to go for a Dragapult VMAX here. Going to Quick Ball, getting rid of a Marnie. And gonna go for a Dedenne GX, it appears, as well. Oh, and also going to Mysterious Treasure Way, the scoop up net. Again, just trying to thin as much as possible. Make sure I can hit an energy here off of this Dedenne. Or if I whiff the energy, I'll at least be able to maybe play a supporter on this next turn, too. Or on this turn, too. So just gonna mess that other Dragapult. Play down the Dedenne GX. 
and I do have the energy, so we actually forgot the Dene was supposed to be in play, and we just scooped up the game. Uh, we both didn't even recognize that, so I do apologize about this, but nevertheless, guys, I mean, you know, Shaman's in a bad spot. Honestly, at that point, I don't know if he had what it would take to win, because the Dene would get hit for 130 next turn anyways. So, <laughs> I don't think he actually would have won that one in the long run, but I do apologize about that. We both literally didn't even realize it. I'm seeing this for the first time commentating, but nevertheless, I, I still hope the series was fun to watch. Stay tuned to the channel for more Rebel Clash content. We'll have links down below in the description to the deck profiles for both these decks whenever they do go live. But of course, if you did enjoy today's content, feel free to like and subscribe and consider supporting this channel as well by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch from our online store, rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.